going to be doing today? Today, I will be showing you guys how to prevent bubbling on your prints just like these. So the way to prevent the bubbling on your prints just like this or this phone stand that I printed out a couple days ago. The, the way to prevent this is really by changing the wall thickness. Now, it is not because of the size. So let me show you this print right here. You can see the fine quality came out perfect. No bubbles, no anything. Same thing with this piece right here. Now, it's about, well, it can either be the infill density or the wall thickness. Now, as a beginner, I used to think that just changing the infill will make it easier for the printer to just not have to, you know, seal it up because it won't have to go over as much of an overhang. And as I got more experienced, I figured out that that is just a waste of my ink, that is a waste of my filament. And... I wanted to figure out a way to, you know, really prevent from wasting my ink and to get the same quality. So, the really, the way is, you know, what I just said was the wall thickness. So, this and this were printed out in the low 20s. And these prints right here were printed out, you know, around the maybe 30% range. Now, it did not have... A thick wall thickness so really guys you can go into any uh, any editing or slicer software whatever you have they all pretty much have a you know wall thickness top bottom thickness whatever they call it they should have that in their uh, slicer built in so you know make sure the wall thickness it is not about the infill density don't waste your ink if you have any questions comment them down below in in the comment section and I will see you in the next video.